Hey guys, Al here. Uh, thanks to everyone who joined us on the live video this week, and I know some people missed out. Um, it's up there on the page if anyone wants to watch it, but at 50 minutes, it's a little bit long. So I just thought we'd do a really quick product demo tonight, just to give you guys a little bit of a heads up ahead of our Kickstarter this Wednesday. All right, big softy. Weighs 74 grams. The iPhone X weighs 175 grams. It's super lightweight. Compared to this, it's, you know, it's under half the weight. Um, super lightweight, super compact, super bright little unit. Okay, it's got three brightness settings, two buttons, one uh, push to turn on, that's low, medium, and high. You can see I'm in a room with a light source here and a light source up there, but even still, you can see that play on my face. There's enough punch there, definitely enough punch <coughs> to work in lower lit settings, but also enough punch to work outside in daylight if you want to sort of light up the darker side of someone's face, the shadowy side. So I'm just going to pop that down onto the low setting again. All right, it's got three different color settings. So it's a bicolor LED. So we've got, um, this setting is our daylight setting. It's our cooler setting. These panels here are set to daylight. So we've got our daylight setting. You push the button once, we go into our clean white mix. That's a balance halfway between our daylight and our tungsten. We hit it again and we move into our tungsten setting. So you can see in a situation that's all daylight, if we turn up our tungsten setting, you can just see that that's got more warmth to it. You can see that play on my face. Back up to full brightness, to daylight, and the clean white mix. The battery runtime on Big Softy. Now, at the moment, on our prototypes, we're getting about 95 minutes runtime at full brightness. We're getting about 140 minutes at mid brightness, and we're getting 240 minutes at max. Um, once we go into our final production models, we'll be able to give you an exact number of what our battery life is. Um, <clears throat> we are injection molding our product when we go into production. We're gonna be making our tools. We need to be successful at the Kickstarter to fund the tooling. The tooling's gonna allow us to make the molds to do the injection molding. Um, because our diffusion panel will be injection molded, we can't do the final testing with the outputs of the LED until we have that injection molding done. Uh, and then we can give you what the exact runtime is. You charge Big Softy with a USB-C charge port there. Now the good thing about USB-C is that you can actually operate the unit whilst it's being charged. So if you're in a situation where you need to have a light source for longer than 95 minutes or 140 or 240, you'll be able to do that essentially running it off mains power. Um, it takes about 45 minutes to go to a full charge from flat and yeah, the run times of 95, 140, and 240. The next thing with Big Softy is we, it comes with our three different mounts. We've got our universal mount clip for our um, mobiles, tablets, and laptops. We've got our camera shoe that's gonna have a quarter 20 uh, thread to fit to the top of light stands. And we've got our 3M adhesive flat mount that's gonna be able to mount onto any, any surface, any hard surface that you're gonna to wanna to mount Big Softy on. You'll see Big Softy's been designed with this cylindrical barrel mount at the bottom that's gonna let each of these pieces slide on and off super simply. Um, it has been designed so that there is rotation possible within the unit. So we've got a 45 degree tilt that you can achieve from when it's set up. The universal clip's been designed with this bowed structure so that it's got a lot of flexibility and a lot of strength. Now this piece is just our 3D printed version for our prototype, but you'll see that it just very simply and easily slips on and off of a phone, holds on nice and nice and hard, um, but that means you can sort of have it mounted, center mounted for your selfie situations, quickly and easily reposition it if you want to shoot landscape <coughs> on your rear camera. Now on this uh, prototype model, we have just got um, rubber strips that we have uh, stuck to the thing, but when we do our final production model, that's gonna be an over-molded rubber mold, so it will actually be within the piece of plastic that the clip's made out of. Uh, that's gonna mean that it applies good friction when you've got it on your devices, and make sure that it's never gonna scratch any of your devices. You'll see it's been designed with this notch here, so that it also, if you wanna use a phone without a case, the phone will slip all the way into the end there uh, and stay put there as well. So you can use it with and without a case. 
that flexibility is going to mean that it can be used across different devices as well. Now, obviously, when we get to our final polypropylene clip, the resilience and flexibility of polypropylene is fantastic. So, I mean, even with this version, something that's a lot thicker than these phones, let's just see you know, how simply that just stretches across there, easy peasy. Um, but when this is our final, final model as well, the, the strength and resilience of that piece is going to be fantastic. Uh, in terms of applying it to a laptop, the fact that it's got this cutout in the middle here means that we'll just be able to sit it simply over the edge of a screen there. You've got the tilt to be able to control how it faces your face. You know, screen up, clip back, light forward. And that's going to mean that you can light up any of your video calls, Zoom calls, Skype calls, whatever you need to do on your laptop. One thing that a customer uh, fed back on our group was that they were keen to use it across their phone and their laptop, but they also had a desktop. And they were wondering how they could adhere it to the top of a desktop for streaming. Uh, so we actually went away with the design team and the manufacturing team, and we've created this 3M adhesive mount. And so this could just get stuck onto any, any hard surface. Um, with the uh, product, we're gonna be supplying a couple of different 3M mounts, but if you need it anymore, they're really easy to get at any store. Next, that takes us to our camera mount. Simply slides on there, slides into the top of your camera. Super simple, nice and sturdy. Comes in and out really quickly. Uh, in the bottom of here, this is just our prototype, but there will be a quarter 20 brass thread so you can attach it to the bottom, uh, to the top of um, lighting stands. I think that's about it guys. So we're really grateful for all the interaction with you guys on the Facebook pages. So please keep those questions coming. Uh, remember the Kickstarter launches this Wednesday, the 24th of June at 10 a.m. Pacific time, American time. Um, we will be letting the VIP group know uh, first up when we go live to make sure you guys can get along and get access to the early supported deals. Um, there will be a limited number of them, so make sure you get along early so no one is disappointed. Um, you can grab single accessory packs and triple accessory packs, but big softy, 3M adhesive mount, camera shoe with quarter 20 thread, and universal clips for your phones, tablets, and laptops. So look, thanks very much, guys. We really appreciate all the support so far. Uh, we look forward to seeing more of you on the Facebook group and at the Kickstarter launch this Wednesday. So have a good weekend and uh, we'll speak to you soon.